My off-road Miata is the funnest car I've ever owned. But she took some abuse. So we're gonna take everything we learned in version one and build the ultimate off-road Miata. Starting with this $500 Miata shell, we're gonna clean it up and strip it out so we can build the roll cage. We got the Bentec software to hopefully make it really simple. In theory, you just take a bunch of measurements, put it in the computer, and it spits out a roll cage. This will show us literally what it's supposed to look like. Many lessons from my childhood, one of which is you always need lube. Oh, Get in just there. Slop Get in, in there. there, dude. You need some more tubing? Oh, we need more tubing. And stop. There goes our final bend. Will it be right? We'll find out in a few seconds. I mean. It looks like a roll cage. That looks pretty good, man. Gosh, that's really close, isn't it? We have half a roll cage. I don't know about half, but we have okay. the first piece. <laughs> like, we have a piece. Good job. Captain's log, day 599 of building this roll cage is what it feels like. It's actually going pretty fast, but we have a door bar in. This might be the best piece I've made yet. Well, boys, we've got a roll cage. Now we have to take all the off-road suspension off version one, rework it to make it way better, and craft it onto version two. This shell has seen a lot. It is just too beat to continue living. We're gonna modify and reuse the original off-roadster control arms, but these shocks were not up to the task, so we're upgrading to kings. In order to use these shocks, we need to raise our mounting point, which does two things. One, allows us to use the whole travel. Two, we won't scrape things on the lowest point in the car, which was literally the shock mount. We are gonna cut out a piece of seal, make a new shock mount there, make a shock hoop. Shock will mount right around here, go down through here. Then we have a pretty official pre-runner suspension. It makes a lot of sense. There's gonna be a ton of prep work before we even get to do the fun stuff, <laughs> which is like build it. For him, the fun stuff is welding it. For me, the fun stuff is once he's done and I get to jump it. That's all I'm here for. It's not like I don't also like the other part, <laughs> but it is satisfying to build something nice. We're kind of mocking things up, seeing if what we had in our head makes any sense at all. And so far, pretty close. And then we'll get this external reservoir up here, just like a trophy truck. It's gonna be wild. We're in completely uncharted territory here. There are other off-road Miatas, but there is nothing this custom and crazy. Nobody's rocking kings on their Miata. I'm so pumped. That just looked so cool. We've got to pull the motor, which we've actually done quite a few times. Did we just blow up the motor? <laughs> Ah, uh, watch the pop-ups. Who needs a step stool to reach a high height when you can use the old Pittsburgh jet? Short kings unite. We've got some front suspension. Everything seems to be cycling clean. It's solid. We have a real beefy mount up here that'll get tied to the rest of the cage. We'll see how close we are. Zero room for mistakes. <laughs> Look at how much clearance we have. That's maybe a sixteenth of an inch. As our Lord and Savior Vincent Diesel once said, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or by a mile. Trying to figure out the steering, which has always been an issue, even with V1. We've got the heim joint down here, but the ball joint at the rack does not provide enough articulation for our tie rod to meet the knuckle. So the obvious answer is to heim the other side as well, which means we have to build our own clevis to hold the heim joint. Basically, you slip the heim joint in like that so it can fully articulate up and down. We can't use a tuning fork. We have to use the existing tie rod end. So we're gonna cut it right there, weld on a little U-shaped clevis, and then we should be able to bolt this right back in. First clevis is ready to go. We're just going to get this screwed in. That'll get welded like that. That's legit trophy truck tie rod steering. It's legitimately something. <laughs> <laughs> that looks freaking cool. I'm excited. <laughs> what is on my head? <laughs> the whole time. The tie rods are almost done. Threading these by hand the old fashioned way. In the entire three years of miata and we've never had good steering. So this is potentially a game changer. So many nights of insomnia trying to come up with good ideas. I don't know if we're quite on good idea territory, but it's not awful idea. I'm so stoked right now. What we're going for is this in parallel with the control arms. This could potentially be our best steering Miata ever. We are at an exciting moment. We're gonna mock up the tires. We got the 30 inchers, huge step. Everything's bolted in, the suspension's fully bombed in, literally 
we get to start looking like a car any moment now. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of cutting involved. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. That's not bad. We're so close to having wheels on it. This is my favorite thing ever. This is the greatest looking car I've ever seen. I love it. I think we're ready to get it off the jacks and roll it. It's first time ever rolling. Oh, because we don't have shocks on it. Look at that freaking clearance though. The stance boys are jealous. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. Imagine this bombing in Baja. That is the goal. We're gonna race the Baja 1000 someday in this Miata. Move it out! We have Miata movement. Yeah, bud. Nice work. The motor is about to go back in. Go. Beautiful painted engine bay. Now it's just time to drop it right in. It's gonna be so wildly different. This is the beefiest suspension ever built in the Miata, period. How long until you'll let me jump in? Oh boy, that. That's putting me on the spot. Honestly, we're gonna have to jump a couple times just to practice, so. We might not be that far out, maybe a couple weeks. Ooh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Got a motor in the car. We might be moments away from the first test drive of Off-Road Miata V2. We've had crazy Off-Road Miatas before, but nothing like this. We get sore in the old Miata seats after like 15 minutes, so we got some comfy ones. Hey. We're gonna be racing for 200 miles, like eight hours. We need to be comfy. My heart is racing. <laughs> I'm like really fired up and trying to remain calm so that I'm not like gonna rush something stupid and cause ourselves a problem. But it's it's hard not to be pretty freaking stoked right now. All right, what do you think, Billy? Dude, I like it a lot. How's my head? I think we're okay. Comfy driving position. Is this even real right now? Like, it's as real as it gets. It is time. Here we go. I was a little high, but hey, oh. we have a car. Got some steam coming got off of steam. uh all the oil. We forgot to tighten our wheel. Oh, we that's... should probably do that. Take two, here we go. <laughs> Steering wheel is tightened and maybe the idle is fixed. That's better. Can we make it around the block? <laughs> We're moving! Yes! <laughs> we did it! Yes! Oh my god! How's she handled? Not the like same. A dream. It drives better than I could have ever thought. We built the world's greatest off-road Miata. It's pouring some type of fluid. We never put two of the clamps on the coolant line. Ah, that was me. I did. I forgot that. <laughs> okay. Did somebody call for AAA? Cause. Uh, your roadside assistance is here. <laughs> hey. Crisis averted. We did it. We have a wild off-road Miata. We got a little more work to do before we can drive it off-road, but nice work. Unreal. I'm over the moon excited. Make sure to subscribe and stick around for the next video. We'll take it off-roading and it will be amazing. Woo.